Shepherd, my big red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. Clifford. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. Bulldog you are. You couldn't scare the fly off a jelly donut. I better get that. What does he mean I couldn't scare a fly off a jelly donut? I don't think Sheriff Lewis really thinks I'm tough at all. I'll bet he wishes he did have a tough little bulldog. A sheriff should have a tough guy dog. I'm gonna see if Cleo and Clifford can help me toughen up. chance to try being tough. Oh, hi, T-Bone. Um, didn't I scare you guys? Not really. Not a bit. Not even a little bit? Did you want to scare us? No. Well, yeah. What's wrong, T? Chef Lewis said I couldn't scare a fly off a jelly donut. So? Flies have to eat, too. So? Cleo, I'm a bulldog. Bulldogs are supposed to be tough. What's wrong with being a nice bulldog? You just don't understand. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, how does this look, guys? Oh, you look kind of cute. I don't want to look cute. How about this? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one, T-Bone. That's funny. 
Oh, well then, how about this? <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> it's cute and funny. I give up. Gee, T-Bone, cute and funny are good things. But I'm supposed to be tough. Why? I'm sure Sheriff Lewis loves you just the way you are. I don't know, Clifford. I think he wishes I were tough. I just wish I knew how to get that way. Heck, it's easy to be tough. All you have to do is have big muscles and a tough guy face. Really? Sure. Can you help me get big muscles and a tough guy face, Cleo? Of course. Are you sure, Cleo? Have I ever stared T-Bone wrong? Yes. Yes. Then follow me. Okay, T-Bone. Let's see how strong you are. Go ahead and move this rock. Right. Job, T. I feel tougher already, Cleo. Step aside, big guy. I need to get some water. Yes, sir. Whoa! <laughs> Step aside, frog. <gasps> okay, then. If you won't move, I'll have to move you! Are you okay? I might as well just give up. I'm never gonna be a tough dog. Okay, uh, forget about being strong. Let's just work on your tough guy face. Oh, okay. That's the most important part of being tough anyway. Okay then, let's do it. How's this, Cleo? That's a really tough, tough guy face. Isn't it, Clifford? Oh, yeah. Tough. Okay, T. It's time to test it. There's a crab around here who's the crabbiest crab of all crabs. If you can scare him, you can scare anyone. Bring him on, Cleo. I'm ready. <sighs> ha, ha There you are. Hey, I, I did it! He's scared of me! I'm tough! Uh, that's not the crab Cleo was talking about, T-Bone. That's the crab. Oh. Maybe this time I really did steer him wrong. 
Thanks for trying, guys. I, I guess I was just never meant to be a tough dog. T-Bone, you're a really nice dog, and everyone loves you that way. Especially Sheriff Lewis. Yeah. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Okay, T. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, T-Bone. Time to go home. Hey, who's that? I'll get some iced tea, Martha. Oh, that sounds good. Wow, I've never seen her before, and she's never seen me. She doesn't know I'm a nice dog. Now's my chance to show the sheriff how tough I can be. Well, hello there, little doggy. <coughs> oh, my goodness. <coughs> sheriff, there's a mean dog out here. Help! Mean? I don't want her to think I'm mean. Just tough. T-Bone, what's wrong with you? <laughs> this is my dog, T-Bone. He's really a very nice dog. I don't know why he was barking like that. He seems like a nice dog now. <laughs> He's real cute, too. Everyone loves my T-Bone. And I love my nice, sweet little boy more than any other dog in the whole wide world. He loves me just the way I am. Jumpers. One day, Speckle and his friends were playing hopscotch. Speckle was about to begin his turn when suddenly a raindrop fell. Then the sky grew darker and big round raindrops splashed onto the ground, making everything wet. Everyone quickly ran for cover. When the storm stopped and the sun came out, they saw the rain had washed their hopscotch marks away. The sidewalk was so wet, Luna's chalk couldn't draw a new one. It looked like hopscotch was over for the day. But then Speckle figured that instead of hopping in squares, they could hop in the puddles. So they splashed and played in a wet kind of way, and everyone loved the new game they'd invented. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Stars in your eyes. Oh, we're so 
so great about a toy telescope? It's not a toy, Jetta. It's powerful enough to see Saturn's rings, or giant Jupiter, even the big red planet Mars. I see it! I see the big red planet! <laughs> I think you're seeing a big red dog, Jetta. Joking. It really is much better to look through it at night. Hey, I have an idea. Let's have a look at the stars party. Cool. A party? Yeah, we can play games and have cake and take turns looking through your telescope. Great idea, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> My parents now. Come on, Clifford. Let's hurry. Woof, woof. Clifford! This is gonna be great. Yeah, but if I had a real telescope like this, I'd never bring it to a party. What do you mean? Well, it's one thing bringing a toy to a party, but something could happen to a real telescope. Oh. Someone could drop it, and sand would get all inside it, and that would absolutely ruin it. You're right. Maybe I'll just leave it at home. <gasps> you can't do that now. I can't? Well, of course not. Emily Elizabeth would be really mad at you. I don't think she would. Please. I mean, the whole party is about your telescope. You can't show up without it. If it were me, I just wouldn't come to the party at all. Well, I'll see you and your telescope at the party. Bye. Yeah, see you at the party. Thanks for helping with the party, Mom. I love our decorations. Mm-hmm. I think our solar system mobile looks especially good. It sure does. Someday, you kids may actually be traveling to these planets. <laughs> Come on, big guy. Let's go find some place to hang this besides your nose. Hi, Mrs. Howard. Hello, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Emily, I... Don't forget your telescope tonight. There's gonna be a big full moon to look at. Right. My telescope. Where is it? Uh, well, I left it at home. The beach isn't a very good place for it. You know, with all the sand. I guess that's true. It really is. We'll all just have to be extra careful with it tonight. Yeah, we will. For a party, and these cardboard telescopes are almost as good as real ones. <laughs> wow, the stars look even better from down here. <laughs> I love walking on the moon, even if it is just pretend. Nope. 
We're gonna send them to the moon! <laughs> Let me try! Rockets. So does Clifford. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants outer space cake? I do. Me, 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 I want me, some me, me, me. I, I do. Where could Charlie be? Well, he's probably not coming, Emily Elizabeth. Why not? Well, his telescope is not a toy, you know. It's real. I wouldn't want everyone playing with my real telescope, would you? He could just leave the telescope at home. Charlie knows that. No, he couldn't. You'd be all mad at him for ruining your party. What? Well, I mean, the whole party is about his telescope, isn't it? Is that what you told Charlie? Well, not exactly. Jetta, he doesn't have to bring his telescope if he doesn't want to. Charlie's not bringing his telescope tonight? Oh, I really wanted to use it. See? I knew everyone would be mad at him if he didn't bring it. We're not mad at him, Jetta. We just wish he would bring it. Yeah, we'd rather have Charlie here without his telescope than not have Charlie here at all. That's what I think too, Jetta. Okay, okay. So let's go get him and bring him to the party. Yes, let's. Let's go get him! Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we pick him up in a spaceship instead? What do you mean? Huh? A big red spaceship! <laughs> <sighs> Looking through a telescope alone isn't much fun. I should have gone to Emily's party. Huh? Wow, look at that! Charlie! Charlie! We're here to say hi! We come from a place way up in the sky! Climb aboard and take a trip. Come to the party on our red spaceship. <laughs> Don't be scared. Charlie, it's just us! <laughs> That's the most amazing spaceship I've ever seen. You guys look so cool! We want you to come back to the party with us, Charlie. I really want to, Emily, but my telescope could get ruined in the sand, and I really don't want it to... We know. And you still want me to come? Of course. Your telescope is really special to you. It's okay if you don't want to share it. It is? It's you we want at the party, Charlie, not your telescope. Wow, that makes me feel really good, Emily. Thanks. Oh. Wait a minute. Maybe I can bring my telescope. As long as everyone stays on the spaceship to use it. Oh. Wow, the stars look amazing through this telescope. And there's no sand up here to get inside and ruin it. I'm really glad Charlie decided to bring it. Thanks for understanding about the telescope, Emily. No problem, Charlie. You know, maybe someday we really will travel to the stars. Sure we will. You and me and Clifford. My big red spaceship. and I know that everyone could use a helping hand now and then. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is help others. Oh no, I can't find it anywhere. Hey, T-Bone, I was just on my way over to Clifford's house. Want to come? <clears throat> no thanks. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, sorry, Cleo. It's just that I buried a bone here yesterday and now I can't find it. Can I help? Sure, thanks. 
Hey guys, what you doing? I'm looking for a bone I buried. And I'm helping. Let me help too. Found it. You did find it. You're the best friends a dog could ever have. When you help someone, you really make them feel good. And you make yourself feel pretty good too. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is help others. Bulldog you are. You couldn't scare the fly off a jelly donut. I better get that. What does he mean I couldn't scare a fly off a jelly donut? I don't think Sheriff Lewis really thinks I'm tough at all. I'll bet he wishes he did have a tough little bulldog. A sheriff should have a tough guy dog. I'm gonna see if Cleo and Clifford can help me toughen up. chance to try being tough. Oh, 
Oh, hi, T-Bone. Uh, didn't I scare you guys? Not really. Not a bit. Not even a little bit? Did you want to scare us? No. Well, yeah. What's wrong, T? Chef Lewis said I couldn't scare a fly off a jelly donut. So? Flies have to eat, too. So? Cleo, I'm a bulldog. Bulldogs are supposed to be tough. What's wrong with being a nice bulldog? You just don't understand. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, how does this look, guys? Oh, you look kind of cute. I don't want to look cute. How about this? <laughs> I like that one, T-Bone. That's funny. Oh, well then, how about this? <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> it's cute and funny. I give up. Gee, T-Bone, cute and funny are good things. But I'm supposed to be tough. Why? I'm sure Sheriff Lewis loves you just the way you are. I don't know, Clifford. I think he wishes I were tough. I just wish I knew how to get that way. Heck, it's easy to be tough. All you have to do is have big muscles and a tough guy face. Really? Sure. Can you help me get big muscles and a tough guy face, Cleo? Of course. Are you sure, Cleo? Have I ever stared T-Bone wrong? Yes. Yes. Then follow me. Okay, T-Bone, let's see how strong you are. Go ahead and move this rock. Right. Job, T. I feel tougher already, Cleo. Step aside, big guy. I need to get some water. Yes, sir. Whoa! Step aside, frog. <gasps> okay, then. If you won't move, I'll have 